But only if Atem Advakim Bashem Elokechem Chaim Kulchem Ayom. Whoever's hugging Hashem, nothing's going to happen to him. What does that mean? What does it mean? If you are Shomer Torah and Mitzvot, and you don't have any sin, Ipol Mitzitcha Elef, Urvava Mi Menecha Alecha Lo Igash. It means that you have to go and make your family religious. Yeah. That's the hardest thing. Oh, you, have you have to do Ishtadlut. Hold on, but just to finish the answer, huh? There's also so many Alakot that we didn't get to learn, and even a lot of them that we did learn, not always it's so easy to change and start doing this Alakot also. Now, first of all, for, in regards to yourself, your main responsibility is yourself. And you do have a responsibility to get to a point that you do, that you do everything. You can come and say, oh, I'm, I'm here, that's enough for me. In order to serve Hashem b'shlemut, you have to do everything. You can't give yourself a discount. You have to go through the entire Shulchan Aruch, with, whether it takes you a year or five years, and you have to know that every little thing, every, there's, not the, the, there's every saif, every line, it's not written stam. It's written because you have to do it. So maybe right now you can't do everything, but every week you learn 10 halachot and you do it. And then you add another 10 halachot and you do it. You constantly have to add. You can't say, oh, I'm very religious now. This I don't have to do. That's a mistake. I mean, people are learning, but, but just by learning something doesn't make me already do it automatically. But sometimes it happens. No? I read something and I say, I already read this halacha a year ago. How come I'm not, I'm not doing it? So if, you're not, so if you're not doing it, then there's, you have to do it. The thing is that half the halachot that you would learn, they really you're never going to do. That's where you learn it in the level of machshava or dibur. If you why when you have to learn, you have to talk that you yotzi in machshava and dibur because you can learn halachot bet hamikdash. We don't have bet hamikdash right now. You can learn halachot of I don't know girushin. You're not getting married. You can learn all sorts of halachot that has nothing to do with you. But if you learn a halacha and you read it a year later and you said I'm still not doing it, then it has to rise a, a red light in your mind saying why am I not doing it? I have to do it. If it's a big thing, then you have to get yourself to do it. If it's a small thing, yeah, you know, you can't. If you read it already twice and you said to yourself, why am I not doing it? Then you have your own answer. And I'm not uh, trying to tell you, oh, what you're doing is not good, chas v'shalom. But you constantly have to add and add and add. And I, in the last year, decided that I'm going to really try to master Hilchot Shabbat. Because I got to a point that I would open Shulchan Aur and be like, I'm you know, I would be like, I'm doing this, you know, many Shabbatot, I'm, I think that I'm religious, I'm, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it right. It's because there's so many things, I said, you know, I'm now deciding that Shabbat, I'm learning all the halachot to be perfect, you know. So every Shabbat, I know I refine myself a little bit more, and refine myself a little bit more, and I refrain so much more, and I know. So now I know I'm not allowed to do this, and you know many things I didn't know you're not allowed to do, that... You know, so many little things, and they're practical. They're things that you do every Shabbat. So the thing is that, you know, you have a chiyuv. You can say, oh, you know, I put a yarmulke, and I go twice a week, and I'm fine. No, you have to, you have an obligation. And the thing is that once you put your leg into the water, you can't say, I'm not, I don't want to get wet anymore. That's it. You, put your, you decided to put yourself in the water, you have to go in. You know, there's a movie, it's The Matrix, you ever saw it, with the blue pill and the red pill? That's it. You decided to take the blue pill, that's it. You go in. You can't say, oh, I don't want it anymore. So, the thing is that, yeah, the more you go in, it's like an onion, another layer, another layer, another layer, and you need to refine yourself. You want to refine yourself, because you don't want to find yourself, you know, thinking that you keep Shabbat, and then you know, wow, you know, I'm actually not keeping Shabbat because I'm failing here in Borer and I'm failing here in Bishul and I'm failing here in this. Wow, you know, uh, and, and the more I go in, I understand, wow, you know, there's so many little things that you don't even really notice. It's practical things, little things, you know, you're not allowed to even to, to do Borer. Most people think Borer is with food. No, you're also not allowed to be Borer with, with clothes, with anything. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you're not allowed to go into your drawer and start sifting the socks. I prepare everything before Shabbat. So you, there's so many little things that, you know, there's so many halachot in Bishul, things that you think you're not allowed to do, you do allow to do, clearishon, clearishon, there's so many things. But if you want to, if you want to reach to the top, yeah, yes, avodah. Then you reach Shulchan Aruch, another time and another time, so that you say how to not get overwhelmed. Then you say, what's most important? First, is most important is to know how to walk. And to walk, Halachot. Halachot is lalechet, you know, to walk is lalechet. 
So first you learn halachot, you have to learn how to walk. And once you covered this all, they are not telling you now to go to Shulchan Naruch and learn all the tour and everything and all the mefarshim. That don't. Yeah, you have to. You have to first learn the basics that you know what to do, what not to do. And if you have something, you know, basic things, you don't have to start calling the rab. I did this. I didn't do this. You have to know the minimum. And then you have to learn a lot of, a lot of time to the mitzvot. You don't, need, you know, you don't have to start researching in every day three hours all the mefarshim on every little halacha. You don't have to know that at this point. But you want to taste a little bit from each. That's why I told the boy before, the boy, the young man. You can't learn 20 day, uh, minutes a day. What's 20 minutes a day? You just, uh, you know, you're warming up the engine with 20 minutes a day. You chose to be religious. You have to choose, you have to say, I have to learn at least two hours a day. I have to learn. I have to know what I'm doing. If I already chose, my eyes opened up. I see the truth. Okay? Now I decided to be in the army of Hashem. Betzivos Hashem. Then I have to, I have to, you know, you go into the army. You go to Tironut. You have to get dirty. You have to get... Uh, Trained, work out, it's not easy. Nobody says doing tshuva is easy, but on the other hand, you're doing the right thing. This is Lomet Torah, you're learning. Every time that you're not now on Facebook and you're sitting and listening to Torah, this Limud Torah, this is, you're not Mivatel Torah. Maybe we're not learning right now a Gemara, so you know, I would, I would call it a Shiur Musar. But you, 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 you uh, can, you're busy now with, 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 uh, you're not sitting and listening heavy lavalim and shtriot and movies and, shtri and, and snooker and all this stuff. You're sitting in a shul, Sifrei Torah is around us, and you're listening to dvarim shem ha'oririm et alev and mechazkim. This is, you know, it's not a shiur gemara, you know, it's not shiur b'shulchan aruch, but you're learning, you probably, can you can pack, pick in from here, like ten alachot that you go out, or things to do. Anything that makes you one step closer to Hashem, it's great. Shouldn't. First of all, you have to understand a few things. Even if you want to, and you lock yourself in the yeshiva, you're not going to go through even a dot of percent of the Torah that is out there. So you already have to internalize it. Second of all, when Mashiach will come, you're going to learn all the Torah. Much more than what we have now we're going to learn. The Torah Chadasha Mashiach is going to come and unveil everything. So we don't worry. Rabbi Nachman says that if you have the desire, this burning desire to know all this Torah, don't worry, when the time will come, they'll give you this Torah. You'll get the chance to learn. But if you really have the desire, if you're telling Hashem, ah, I would wish to, wish to know the, all, the whole Shas now. Don't, if you really want it, when the time will come, you'll get the merit to learn it. Now, not to get discouraged, you know, it's a, you, know you can grab a, a drop in the ocean. You need to know when you, when you start. First of all, you have to know what to do and what not to do. So you have to learn halachot. And you have to learn, you have to learn a little bit of each. You can't like, if you're saying, okay, I'm devoting myself to Limud Torah, I'm going to Yeshiva for 20 years, I promise you, you'll, you'll get a good bite out of the Torah. If not, then you taste a little bit from here, a little bit from here, a little bit from here, and you say, this is what I can, can handle. And when the time will come, I'll, I'll, I'll learn it anyways. But if you're not devoting yourself, you know, how I would wish to sit all day long and study? I know, it's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to now go and, and lecture every night and to do shiurim. I wish I could go into a yeshiva, lock the doors and sit there all day long. Because I have such a yearn to learn what I touched is nothing compared, like exactly how you said. I open one book, wow, I can learn, you know, I have bookshelves in ho at home with books. I never touched them. I wish... I would have time to go through the books. And even if I had time to go, I want to read it a hundred times to really understand it. So don't get discouraged because we're not here to master the Torah. We're here to, to do your tikkun in this world, to learn Torah because you're supposed to. When Mashiach will come, don't worry, all the Torah you're going to learn, you know, in the seventh millennium, we're going to have a thousand years, Yom Shekulo Tov, a thousand years of Shabbos. We're going to sit a thousand years with Mashiach and learn all the Torah and everything that we don't even, yeah? Yeah, you can have shiur, you know, Sunday, 8 in the morning, Moshe Rabbeinu, 9 in the afternoon, Avram Avinu. Yeah, you're going to have shiurim, you're going to have an iPod, iPod, iPad, I, uh, you call, iPhone with an app. When, oh, I want to be the shiur in Yaakov Avinu, he's talking about, you know, so...
Kids to to raise kids is is an art. You can't you there's you know to be a perfect father or mother is the thing is that most people they don't see being a parent as as the main mission in her in their life. And the thing is that you have 20 years to design a person and then he goes out to the world. And the way you designed him, that's how he goes. You can create perfect, amazing people or you can create messed up people. And parenthood is, is literally an art. You have to know when to push, when to pull. You have to be, this, for sure I wouldn't say be lenient. You have to know but when to let go a little bit. Because sometimes uh, I was explaining, Biduk today to my wife we were talking about it. A kid is like a spring. You quetch, 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 at some, time, some point it needs to like release. And if you don't let this release to go out, it will quetch a little more, more like a spring. The more it quetches, the release will be much more stronger. So you need to let the kid sometimes release. You can't let choke the kid too much because kids, it depends. I have one boy that he's, you know, in his level, I can quetch him as much as I want. He's, he's, he's here. I have one boy, if I quetch him too much, too much pressure, that's it, he, he cracks. So you have to know each child when to give, when to, when to, to you know, move back, when to be like a real good father, best friend, when to be, you know, you have to, you know, raising a kid is, is, is mamash, it's a shlichut, it's, it's not just, okay, you're with your wife, bing, bang, that you have a kid, that's it. A lot of people, you know, they okay, I'll, I'll let the, the school teach them. No, the school doesn't do anything. The school is a babysitting system. You teach the kids. Well, yeah. There's a few books. Echad is Habayit HaYehudi. Habayit HaYehudi. One of them is Betvuna Tivne Beita, something like that. I think is. Uh, I'm almost certain that they're, they're translated. I can ask my wife about English. But uh, there's Rabbi Ginsburg in Eretz Israel. I don't know if you heard of him. You know him? He's a great, big, big Mekubal. Very, very special rabbi. And he has a lot of books about Chinuch and parenting. Mm -hmm. And he's originally American, so uh, he, all his books are English and Hebrew. I, you, you can even Google his name, Rabbi Yitzchak Ginsburg. Ooh, he has tons of lectures. His lectures are his... Uh, no, which, huh. forum? which forum? Yeah, uh, just Google Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak Ginsburg. Mm -hmm. You'll come up. He has a lot of uh, uh, books about Chinuch and, uh, and uh, Shlom Bayit. He's, is very, very special.